I'm sorry, what game are we playing? Jet Set Radio! Hey there, what's up internet? My name is Black Light Attack. Welcome to episode one of my Let's Play Jet Set Radio. So, this is a game. Ooh, I love this game. This is a good game. You know what? Let's not, let's not talk about it too much before we actually get started. Let's just start a new game. Let's just go with it. Just gonna be, I already have two games started already. Um, already, already. I already have two games started already because I played through the game once and I played through the game again, unlocking all the secret characters along the way. Um, for this one, I don't think I'll be unlocking any secret characters. They're all dependent on getting high scores, and that Somewhere basically just Asia, entails. There's a city that cannot be found on any map called Tokyo. -to. Tokyo. -to. Everyone just calls it Tokyo. Okay. The two hottest things in the to Tokyo -to are the punks wearing magnetically driven inline there's skates powered punks. by newly developed Netrium batteries and yep. Jet Set Radio. Pirate radio station, uh -huh. manned by the DJ Professor K. Yeah, that look plays at that nothing dude. but non-stop hardcore music. Pre -hardcore Those man. street punks have been named Rudy by the people of Tokyo. So they roam the streets and cover the city with their personal graffiti, claiming personal. that it is their way of expressing themselves to the world. I can understand However, that. However, ever since the metropolitan government and the financial conglomerate, the Rukkaka Group, Combine their efforts to co-found the 21st uh -oh. century project, the streets of Ain't Tokyo work, Tokyo dude. have never been the same again. Police crackdowns on the Rudies have become more severe, and Captain yeah. Onishima is more anxious than ever to put them behind bars. Yeah, we're in a the streets of Tokyo to are ready to explode. Oh man. Yeah, so this game is some of the most amazing music ever. But anyway, so unlocking secret characters in this game basically has something to do with high scores. And if you don't get the high score, you just got to replay the level. I'm just not interested in doing that during a Let's Play. So, what's up, Gum? Hold it, you can't go tripping through the streets till you learn some basics. Try this. So, whenever you recruit a new character, we're going to start off by recruiting our first two characters, Gum and Tab. And we start off with just, um, oh, what is his name? I have a hard time remembering everybody's name in this game. Gum, Tab, and this guy. He's like the main character, and I don't remember his name because I never use him. Beat, I think. Um, and they, they just have you do like really simple tasks to start off with, but like as you get later into the game, they're going to have you um, do some... The characters that, want, that you want to recruit are going to do some more advanced tricks and stuff. And It's a really fun game. I'll, I'll explain what's up with it in a bit, but... Um, this game has some of the most amazing music. Yeah, she's gonna do a couple rounds. I always forget, like, what exactly I need to do. So she, she's basically showing us the really basic stuff. How to jump and how to grind and stuff. Yeah, that's just, that's literally nothing but a grind. No problem. I can actually skip these. I just need to make sure I know what she's doing first, because I need to emulate it. Nice and easy, dude. So you might see, like, some similarity to, like, maybe, like, a Tony Hawk game, but it's not really too focused on the tricks, really. The tricks do have something to do with it, but mostly mostly it's about the grinding. The most tricks you're going to be doing is grinding. Not really much else. Um, there are other tricks, but there's no, like, there's no, like, trick button. There's no, like, you know. In Tony Hawk, it was, like, triangle, square, and circle were all, like, different kinds of tricks, and X is jump. This game doesn't have anything like that. This game is just all... It's, it's just a jump button, and that's about it. A jump button and a, and a button to spray graffiti. Um... And a uh, and a button to speed up. Spray one thing. One thing I don't like that they could have fixed about this in the port that they didn't was that um, the camera adjust button is also the spray button. So when you're trying to spray graffiti, when you're trying to like spam spray graffiti, you'll also like just fuck up your camera really bad. But yeah. So as you saw in the beginning in the little intro there, um, they were like basically saying there are these these kids that just skate the streets and spray graffiti everywhere and there's a totalitarian government that's out to stop them and that's just kind of where you start off you're you're just starting to build up your gang really by recruiting these people and um and uh, learning how to spray graffiti and the plot line the plot line's pretty silly in this game but you know it starts to build up to something a bit more so now now here's how you spray graffiti you see those arrows pop up arrows there will be arrows above where you can spray graffiti and a red arrow means an arrow you have to spray in order to pass the level green arrows mean optional ones you can do for bonus points 
And if it's a big graffiti spray, you'll have to do a quick like mini game to um, match the uh, match the uh, arrow inputs uh, in order to spray it. And actually, um, when it comes to like getting score and stuff, if you want to get high scores, doing those correctly without messing up with a character who has a high graffiti stat will give you more points. Um, so like if you mess up and have to start over, you're going to lose bonus points. And that, that's like a major part of getting high scores and unlocking secret characters. But we'll see if we can maybe unlock a few. But, um, you know, if I mess up a level, I'm not going to go back and replay it. Because uh, basically to unlock some of the secret characters, you you have to, um, like, the, the main three, the easiest three secret characters, you have to get uh, the top score. Um in like all of the levels in a given area of the city so if i just mess that up i'm not even gonna bother that was actually a pretty long sequence but it's actually really simple it's just get up you don't even have to take this car if you miss the car it's honestly i never use the cars in this game you can grab onto them like this to like move faster but this is probably the only area in the game that i actually use that um because te it tends to be like whenever i try to Whenever I try to grab onto a car, I usually just get hit like that. <laughs> so you got your health bar at the top. Um, you can get health back by getting health pickups. You got your timer. Every every level, almost I think every level, every level has a time limit in the top right. You get points, and then bottom left is um, my cans, because you can't spray unless you have cans. Oh, is it only just the one spray? I thought it was two. Whatever. Got that. Is that it for, is that it for Tab? Or does Tab have another one? Tab does have another one. All right, what's he got? What you got, Tab? Show us what up. Show us what up. This game, back in the day, this game originally came out for Dreamcast. This is the HD re-release on Steam, um, which is also out on PlayStation Network and Xbox Live Arcade for, I think, 15 bucks, 10 bucks, something like that. That's an easy. That's easy. That's easy. Better watch that. Coming at you. The music in this game is so weird and so amazing. Just like at the time, it was so out there. And the cell shading. I don't know if this was the first cell shaded game. I'm always hesitant to say anything was the first anything, but this definitely popularized the the cell shaded style. So Tab joins us. Now one thing that's weird is after I after I've been playing this for a while, whenever the loading screen comes up, it's like slowed down for me. I don't know. Here's okay. Here's Professor K. He's actually a pretty somewhat important character. Yo yo. That's right. I love this guy. He's kind of bizarre. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, he's definitely elevated right now. What a, I love those faces animated. It's so weird. His face is like elastic. I wonder if this is what Japan thinks black people are like. Anyway, so here, here we're introducing the main enemies in the beginning of the game. These are your rival gangs. Noise tanks are all high-tech dudes. Poison Jam. Wear monster costumes. Yeah. Everybody dance. This is how you fight. You dance. Yeah, yeah. And then we don't have a theme. We just dance. We don't need a theme, goddammit. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Our turf. Yeah, you better not be creeping up on my shit, Poison Jam. Or the noise tank. Oh, my God, you goddamn robots. Yeah. I don't know what Kisatsu means. Yeah, I don't know what hygiene has to do with this. So, basically, he just, like... He'll run down what's going on. Here's what I'm talking about. This weird, like, slowdown on the loading screen. I wonder if I just verify my, my game cache or something. That might help. I don't know what's up with that. But, um... Yeah, what are we... We're 10 minutes in. I wanted to keep these about 10 minutes. But maybe just for the first episode, we'll go a little over so we can do the first level just to show you guys what it's like. You could do... You can actually customize your graffiti sprays. You can even make your own graffiti sprays, although the, the editor is not real great. I wish you could import images. That would be amazing. But um, anyway, we'll just go and do the first level. Shibuya GG. So the GG is, is the name of our gang. Um, I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to unlock, I'm not going to unlock secret characters, but every character that I do unlock normally through the main game, 
I'll use at least once. So, out of the three uh, starting characters, uh, Tab is definitely my favorite to play with, but I'll just start with Beat, why not? Even though we kind of already did the tutorial stage with him. Sup? And the music, ugh. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna like just verbally fillet this music so many times throughout this Let's Play because I just, this, this game probably has my favorite game soundtrack of all time. Maybe only rivaled by Final Fantasy VII, but like, Final Fantasy VII is mostly music that's like, that like pertains to that game. Like, like I can't imagine it in anything but Final Fantasy VII, you know? But, um, the, uh, the music in this, like, I could just listen to in my car. And I do. <laughs> like, I, I got I gotta put it back on my new phone, but like my my old phone had every single um, track off the uh, off the uh, soundtrack of this game. I don't know if they plan on like re-releasing it now that the HD re-release is up. But now as as you keep spraying, um, <clears throat> as you spray more tags, uh, p more police will start to show up, and eventually like like more difficult police units will show up. Now this bitch spraying on my turf. Get out of here! If you bump rival gang members, you'll actually uh, you'll actually grab some cans from them. And managing how many cans you have on you is actually pretty important because um, you can uh, you can run out pretty easily, and then you won't be able to spray paint anything. Uh, you know, I'm gonna save these for last because the police actually can't get you up here. So can I get? Uh, no, I need. You actually need to ride a car to get those. We'll start with these then. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Fuck yeah. What up, headquarters? Fuck off, bitch. Captain's on his way, dude. Here he goes. This is Captain Onshima. He's kind of the bad guy of this game, but there's... He's, he's the starting bad guy of this game. They introduce another bad guy later. But this guy will literally shoot you for spraying, uh, spraying graffiti. Fuck off. Skateboarding is not a crime. Neither is roller skating, but... You know, I guess, I guess in this alternate future it is. So, one of the things about this game is that if you're going for score, you actually want to have as many cans as you can hold um, when you when you end it. Because um, you get you get a bonus for it. You want to have full health and you want to have as many cans as you can hold when, when the level's over. Get that. Ah! Alright, you know, I'm going to come around. That little thing floating there is a, um, it's a uh, graffiti tag. See Captain Onishima over there. Out of my way, bitches! Check this out. Oh, wall ride! How you like me now? This is actually part... Every every level in this game, every section, has an infinite grind in it somewhere. Let me see if I can do the one here. An infinite grind just means like a loop where you can, you can grind forever for like a shitload of points. So let's see if I can get this one. This is the hardest part to link in my opinion. And... Oh, got it. This part can be kind of tough though. Because if you don't get the spacing right there, ah, well you can see. I just didn't complete it, but you can see there how that's that's all one loop. Now those tags under the bridge, you actually can't jump high enough. There's no character in the game that can actually jump high enough to get those. So, um, what you actually need to do is get the fuck out of my way, bitch. What you actually need to do is uh, ride a car and jump as it passes under the bridge. But right now, no no cars are in the area. And then the bigger a tag is, the more complicated the spray gets. But um, every character spray, um, spray little routine is the same every time you play that character. But the spray, the spray routines are more complicated and harder to do if you have a character with a higher graffiti level. But you get more points for it. So there's the jet. You got to get jet on like a certain amount of levels in order to unlock certain characters. But anyway, tell us what's up. Tell us what's up, Professor K. Crazy black man. Tell us what's up. Get used to the song. Oh, you son of a bitch. Hell yeah, I got my moves ready. He likes to really he really likes to yell that name a lot. Yeah, two in the pink, one in the stink. So that's the third rival gang. Bunch of girls that hate guys. You know someone somewhere is crying with the ooky ooky waku waku feeling. Yeah, I know that feeling. It's too late. Yeah, some of his voice acting's cut off for like right at the end for some reason. But anyway, uh, that's actually gonna do it for episode one, guys. 
Uh, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you later for some more of this game. I'll, you know, try to explain a bit more what it's about. Some of you are probably feeling lost right now because this is a weird game, but um, this is going to be my new Let's Play. Stay tuned, FOMO, and obviously this isn't going to run against Pokemon at all. Pokemon will still be uploaded on a regular schedule. This I'll upload, like, like my Mario series, pretty much whenever I want. So, yeah, leave a like if you are into this game and you want to see more. I'll see you guys later.